Hey what's going on guys welcome to your 11th Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about conditionals. Okay then so what do I mean by conditionals? Well I mean conditionally show some content depending on whether we want it to basically right? So we can use a conditional called vIf it's a directive or we can also use a directive called vShow and there's a subtle difference between the two and I'm going to show you the difference later on but first of all I want to create two buttons which are going to kind of handle the functionality of this conditional so the first one right here is going to toggle some kind of error data right so we'll say toggle error and the second one is going to toggle a success data message so we'll say toggle success right Okay, cool. So what I want to do is give each one of these a click event. So we'll say V hyphen on and it's click. I'm going to set that equal to something whereby the error is going to become the reverse of what the error currently is, right? Now I know this isn't defined yet, but we'll do that in a second. But I'm going to do exactly the same for the button down here, except this one is going to be success. So we're going to have two variables stored on our um, view instance right here in the data object and we're going to do that in a minute one's called success and the other is called error so the idea is that these buttons are going to toggle whether those variables stored here are going to be true or false right so when we click this it's going to toggle it between true and false when we click this it's going to toggle the success uh, variable between true and false makes sense so let's quickly create those two properties here so we'll say error is false to begin with and also success is false to begin with too okay cool so now we've got our two properties and these two buttons right here are going to toggle them so let's just make sure that these buttons are displaying yep okay and they're not doing anything currently because this isn't really linked up to anything it's just changing them from true or false and it's not doing anything so now I want to create a conditional using v if right so the way we do that is by saying p and then v hyphen if and setting it equal to something which is a boolean now if this boolean is true then this paragraph tag here will show right if this is false then this paragraph tag won't show so let's set this equal to error yeah so v if equals error so if this error data is false then this won't show and remember it's currently set to false right here so this will not show currently but when we toggle it then it will show okay let's just add some text in here and we'll just say there has been an error just so we can see it and then I'll save that if we come now to the browser if we toggle the error you can see when we toggle it we're making that error property true and therefore since v if will now equal true it shows if we toggle it again we're making that error property false and therefore v if equals false and it won't show so i just want to inspect this element for a second and if you can see right here the p tag is in the dom if we click toggle error the p tag has been removed completely from the dom and we just see this little comment where it was right so it's taking it out and it's putting it in the dom completely so let's just do the same with success for now let's just copy that and paste it down below and this time this is going to be success right so we'll save that now and check this out so we can toggle success and it still says there has been an error and that's because we've not changed this and instead we'll say Woo, success awesome like that. okay so now if we save this check it out toggle yep we get a success message toggle yep we get an error message uh, but we can show both of these at the same time, which is a bit weird because you don't generally have an error and success at the same time. So what we can do is say instead of v if, we can say v else if, right? So now it's going to check this first of all. If it's true, it will show this, okay? And if it's true, this won't show even if this is true because we're saying else, Okay, so only if this is false will it move on to this and then check if this is true. Makes sense? And then if this is true, it will show this. If it's false, it won't uh, show this. So if we save this, check it out in a browser. So first of all, we'll toggle success and that works. Then we'll toggle error 
that works. Then we'll try and toggle success. And now it's no longer showing, okay? Regardless of whether this is true or false, toggle success or success rather, it's still not showing. And that's because we have this else if. So it's only checking this else if statement if this is false, right? Make sense? It's a bit like JavaScript programming. You've got your else statement and your else if. So that's a simple little example to show you how these work. I wanna show you one more thing and that is vshow. So I'm gonna comment those out. And underneath here, what I'm gonna do instead is two more paragraphs. So P and then V hyphen show. This is a different directive, but does a very similar thing. And I'm gonna set that equal to error again. And inside here, we'll just copy this text. There has been an error. And also I'm gonna do one more for the success. So this is gonna be V show equals success. And Ooh, success. Okay, cool. So now this is going to do a similar thing. It's going to show this element if error right here is true and it's going to hide it if error is false. Same for this one. If success is true, it's going to show this. Otherwise, it's going to hide it. So let's view it. We'll say toggle error and we get exactly the same behavior. Toggle success, the same behavior. So what's the difference between vshow and and v if. Well, if you remember, when we inspected this element, if we toggled the error, then it took it out completely. However, v show, when we toggle it and it becomes false, just gets a style of display none. It doesn't take the element out of the DOM, okay? It just gives it this style of display none. And that's the subtle difference. So there we go. There's some conditionals using v if and v show. And these are going to come in handy later when we're serving different content to the user dependent on different statuses or different properties within our data.